Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what is upcoming on Tuesday today, and that is Champions League Road to the Final items and how those are going to be impacted with live games happening today, with prices being high for a lot of those cards. Talk about those cards a bit and when those upgrades will happen, but also we're going to take a look back at yesterday and talk about that Party Bag SBC. A lot of you guys probably did it. Some of you guys maybe held the restraint and didn't do it, or you're going to try to craft it with the upgrade packs that are out right now, if that is something you're going to be doing, because in my opinion, this SBC was a bit overpriced, because you know what, there's a lot of players under 120k, which is the price of this SBC, so it's definitely a gamble, but people in FIFA love these SBCs, right? If you guys have not learned it yet, all the party bags that we had last year in FIFA 20, we already had a couple during headliners this year, people go bananas for these SBCs because they had the potential of packing something sick like a Future Stars Fatih, a Future Stars Saka, uh, but then you can also get ones to watch Bale or ones to watch Ake who are literally like 20,000 coins and you're down bad if you pack one of those cards from this SBC. But people love a gamble in FIFA, and they love these packs, and you saw a lot of market movements because of it. There was definitely a way to even make coins off of this SBC today, multiple ways to make coins. There was some panic selling, some that has rebounded. We're going to talk about that. This SBC required two team week players, right? If you've been discard inform investing or like investing in informs every week with a team of the week, that is something that has been doing very, very well this year. It didn't work last year, worked very well in FIFA 19. And it's back this year because EA is requiring a lot of informs for these SBCs that they keep putting out. So I want to talk about all of that today and, again, cover Road to the Finals. But first things first, we have some other issues that EA mess around with today. And I want to just make you guys aware really fast that there are some cards in packs right now that are incorrect. So today when EA dropped the party bag, people that were opening player pick packs or saved up player picks or opening the 81 plus double upgrades, they were packing the right back version of Reese James, which was very confusing because he was a part of team one, not a part of team two. So what happened today was, and this was confirmed by multiple people on Twitter, whenever EA did this party bag SBC, somehow it messed up what was actually in packs in FIFA. So this 91 right mid Reyna, the CDM James, and the right back version of Dalo, basically the cards that should be in Team 2, are not in packs right now. EA messed up, and now the Team 1 cards are back in packs. So that means right back Reese James is getting supplied a bit. Center attacking mid Reyna is getting supplied a bit. And left back Dalo is getting supplied as well. Now, you've seen a lot of these prices bounce around. And you've actually, like, Reyna, 1.2 million coins. This guy was, like, 990k uh, last night. I don't know if this is just a crazy high price. Uh, where his card is fluctuating, but yeah, he was around a million coins, even under a mil, and uh, you can tell he's been kind of rising a little bit today, not a ton, uh, but he's up like 100k actually, he's up like 100k, yeah, that's actually a pretty solid rise, I was getting confused with the Xbox graph there for a second, but some of these cards, even this James is up a decent amount, 547, I'm pretty sure, uh, last night he was in the like the 400s, yeah, he was 430. This guy's up over 100,000 coins today. Now, I do fear a little bit that this card's getting invested in. Uh, I know that there's some people that are trying to invest in this card because they are comparing it to Kante uh, on this game. This card has more in-game stats than Kante, and they're saying that he should be worth more, which I don't necessarily disagree with, but I feel like there might be a bit of over-investing there as well. Uh, I, I think it's just a lot of people that are seeing this Reese James go up so much, so they're buying this other uh, CDM version as well. But I wanted to kind of point that out as well as EA messed with some price ranges on some of these Man of the Match cards. Now, I don't know if I can go on in FIFA and look at this really fast, but I just wanted to inform you guys that the Man of the Match price range for some of these cards has actually dropped to, um, to basically discard. So they were... Before, like this Greenwood card, who I think might be like 30k right now, I'm not sure how much he is, before this guy had a minimum price range of 15,000 coins. All these Man of the Matches had a minimum price range of 15k, but now, if you actually look at these listings, this one is listed at a minimum start price of 9.9k. So... This can be very problematic because EA is dropping down that minimum price for these cards, which could in turn make a people lose a lot of coins. If you're investing in this man of the matches at discard and you're investing at 15K, and if those prices weren't actually real, now 
if these cards are all upgraded to have a start price of 9,900 coins and a minimum uh, 10k buy it now, then that's kind of scummy from EA because they're dropping the floor on one of these price ranges. We see that we saw that happen actually twice today with these man of the matches and also with the new Saka Future Stars, which he is on the market. Uh, this guy is on the market, which is uh, a big W for a lot of people that wanted to try him out. He is more than 2 million coins. He's 2.6 right now. So EA made this card to have a price range go up to 4 mil. He started getting listed up. He's about 2.3, 2.4. And then all of a sudden, EA reverted his price range back down to 2 mil. And he was extinct again. And people, like, some people automatically relisted their Sokka's maybe they were trying to trade with. And they ended up losing a lot of coins on tax because EA, you know, reduced that price range down to 2 million coins. So that was a little bit scummy from EA today. Price ranges in EA, they have not been doing so hot with them, especially with these two things that happened today. So kind of a mix-up day for EA and, and that sort of thing. So I apologize big time if you messed up, like if you had stock and you relisted or if you have a, a man of the match card that got a... It dropped in price because of those minimum price ranges being reduced. So I apologize on behalf of EA for that because they're not going to apologize for you. But I wanted to make you guys aware of those things before we keep getting into the video today. But again, the big time SBC that dropped today was this party bag. 123,000 coins on the market. And the fact is that that is a very good price point for EA to set an SBC at that they want to make just expensive enough that it's going to take a lot of coins off the market, but also just cheap enough that a lot of people can do it and they're going to take that risk. So what you saw today was a lot of selling around that 6 to 7 p.m. time frame and then a big time bounce back. Even on a guy like Gold Varan, who was like 123,000 coins, dipped down to 105 and has already bounced back to 115, 116. Now, I bought some cards today on... on uh, I bought some stuff today that got panic sold. This uh, Zaha second in form, one of my tr favorite cards to trade with, got this at 170. He was 187, so that was a nice flip there. I bought this on uh, Saturday night for 170. That, that was a nice flip there as well. But I bought an Ashley Cole. I bought some Cancelos again because he was down to 197, 193. I bought Quadrado in forms because this guy was down into the low 160s where I already had purchased a couple of them. And of course, I bought those Bruno Perez uh, at 190,000 coins. And this guy was 210 literally yesterday morning. So basically what I did was I bought cards that I thought were going to be meta popular and stuff that would get bought back up pretty quickly. I'm going to try to cash out on this stuff before uh, Tuesday with the road to the finals because I want to get involved in that. But if there's one picture, again, we looked at that Varan graph. But if there's one picture that really just shows what happens on days when we have these party bag SBCs, um, because if you think about it right now, why would the market dip when a party bag SBC would come out? Well, number one, a lot of people, yes, there's been a lot of coins on the market post team of the year, but you see a dip like this and that just tells me that, you know, and you go and you look in your own club, People don't have a lot in their clubs right now. They've been rinsing the two player, they've been rinsing the 81 plus upgrades, and then, you know, their fodder has been put into other SBCs since there's a lot of SBCs that are out right now. Uh, and now with the 81 double and the 83 plus SBCs, that's even, you know, other things that people can rinse their club into. A lot of people's clubs are bare. So when an SBC comes out like this that they want to do and take a chance on, they have to go out and buy players for it, which again is why we saw this index 86. Um, even though this is only an 84 rated squad today, it boomed up this freaking much. Right now, we took an index 84s. Probably some of these 84s are going extinct today. Crazy rises. They're very high, of course, 85s as well. But that goes to show me that a lot of people had to actually sell cards to do that SBC, which is crazy in my mind, but it just goes to show you how much of like, uh, pack addicts we are on this game which is kind of just how ea has wired this game and wired us in a sense too so they know that we're going to love these sbcs but that was the big content for the day we did a, a couple more player pack sbcs um i don't think the 81 plus double upgrades are going to be as op as the 81 plus picks um but they are out and the 83 plus upgrade is kind of nice as well um if you do are doing some of these you can rinse those into the 83 plus and get more upgrade packs if you're trying to pack somebody from future stars team number two so that was kind of what happened with that future with the party bag sbc today there was a lot of panic selling 
and now you're starting to see stuff kind of rebound a little bit, which is kind of what you would have expected, right? If you think about it in this way, a lot of people are, you know, selling their cards to go fund this SBC, and a lot of people are going to be able to buy those cards right back, or maybe they, you know, one card they have to buy a different version of, or they're just going to not buy it for their team until they get rewards this week, or, you know, until they can do marquee matchups and possibly get some more coins in their club. So that was probably the mindset for a lot of people today. So when you see stuff like this happen again in the future, because EA added that pack code for the party bag SBC like three hours before content drop. It wasn't a long time. They added it. We're like, oh shoot, this looks like it might be coming today. And it did. Um, one thing you can do is start, start to think in your mind, hey, if this SBC comes out, what types of players are meta? What types of players are desirable right now? I was looking at Road to the Finals. There were some RTTFs that dipped. Like Road to the Final Cancelo was 420,000 coins yesterday. And I think even right now, he's upwards of 400K. He doesn't have a game today right city aren't playing today in champions league but there were fluctuations with the 401 for Cancela right now and that's the only one that is listed under 400 and 400 and like 15,000 coins so there's a little bit of a slight undercut there but i'm not going to buy it because it's not really profitable um all i'm saying is again if you have these champions league road to the final cards um as we kind of move into talking about this today it's a big day big big tuesday today these cards are going to be at the forefront, right? Yes, Future Stars is going on, but we might see some Champions League related content today. I think usually if they drop the marquee matchups, I forget which day they usually drop marquee matchups on. It's either Tuesday or Wednesday of a week where we have UCL and Europa League games. Um, and I think we might be able to see some of that today. If we do see UCL marquee matchups, whatever like day it's on, whether it's today or whether it's tomorrow, what you'll probably see is more supply for these brand new Future Stars cards. Even today with the SBC coming out, some people sold these, right? Ruben Diaz is 400K. I believe he was panic sold. He was 380. That's He was just low last night from rewards and uh, squad battle rewards down to 371. And that's kind of rebounded since then. Um, I actually bought a David last night at 130, sold it for 150. He's back down to 130 range. Uh, these, these cards are going to continue to fluctuate as people try them out, people use them in their teams. Of course, when we get pack supply like a UCL marquee matchups, you're going to see some of them move uh, with that pack supply as well. I don't think I would really want to buy these for my team yet. We might talk about it later on this week, but I'm looking at these for a buy time around Thursday with rewards, maybe even Friday or maybe even after the weekendly sell-off, depending on what happens uh, this weekend. But um, that was kind of, again, just to kind of close out the talk about the party bag SBC. When you see SBCs that are like that, like it's one time non-repeatable, it's going to make people sell to do it. And what you really want to look for are cards that are meta, cards that are going to bounce back because they're popular and uh, people are going to have to buy back for their teams once they sold them to do the SBC, right? So that's why I focused on the cards that I did. And again, talking about these road to the final items, the ones that we have to watch out for today, of course, are these two games right here, right? Barcelona PSG and Leipzig with Liverpool. And it's really, really interesting to look at these odds, right? Leipzig plus 190, Liverpool plus 130. So that's going to be a great game. Barcelona PSG is supposed to be a great game. Barcelona are the favorites. I think Neymar is out and PSG have some injuries right now, which is not helping. But let's talk about live items that are going to be legit uh, upgrades depend on these games today, right? And so for Champions League games only, so for today on Tuesday and for tomorrow on Wednesday, Champions League cards are the only ones that get upgraded for this first leg coming back into the competition for the knockout rounds. For the Europa League, uh, it's only cards that advance. Let me just show you the graphic, right? For Champions League, Right, they've already got their upgrade for qualifying to the knockout stage. Now, if Klaustrin, who's an 85 rated card right now, were to get if if Leipzig were able to win against Liverpool, right, then this card would get upgraded this weekend. Of course, if uh, Barcelona are able to win against PSG, then Griezmann would get upgraded. It's all about winning that first knockout game. And then, of course, the second leg upgrade comes into play with qualifying for that quarterfinals. Um, 
right there. So two upgrades kind of back-to-back, -back, pretty consecutive order here with these games for Champions League. But for Europa League, you have to qualify for the round of 16. So right now Europa League's in round of 32. There's two games that are involved with those cards before they get upgraded. So again, looking at Road to the Finals as a whole though, the point that I made last night still in my mind stands. It still stands because I honestly, whether it's a Wijnaldum that's playing today or whether it's an Insigne that is not playing today, that's not playing for later this week and won't even have the potential to get upgraded for a couple weeks yet, I would honestly look at selling these cards because a lot of the hype is based around this first week today. I know some cards don't have games yet and I know you're thinking, why would I sell if I'm waiting for them to get the upgrade? But if, let's say again, like we're looking at this Draxer at 62,000 coins, how much actual value does this card have if they lose today, right? Now, one thing you can talk about is since it's only the first leg, let's say today Barcelona is playing PSG. Let's say Barcelona wins 1-0. 1-0 win for Barcelona. You have this Julian Draxler card. He's probably going to drop because he didn't get upgraded today, but he's still a live card because he could. And because the, you know, the leg is only it's in first leg, it's not over yet, right? PSG could still come back and win in the second leg to get it advanced to the next round. This card still might have some value left in it. So there's going to be a very interesting scenario here when you see a team lose today. The live items from the team that does lose, depending on how much they drop off and depending how big the deficit is for a comeback, you might see big time market movements. I, of course, of course, a lot of you guys probably remember Manchester United versus PSG. I think that was two years ago in Champions League. The big time comeback that happened there, those road to the final items were like dead in the water. The comeback happened and they sprung to life because people thought they weren't going to get upgraded and then bang, the comeback was on. So same thing today. Watch out for cards specifically for um, the Leipzig and the Liverpool game because if you're looking at pure road to the final cards, the Leipzig Liverpool game has the best cards involved. You have Salah 92, you've got Genie Wijnaldum, you've got Klosterman, and I think there's one more that I'm forgetting. I always forget who the other Leipzig road to the final is, um, and maybe there isn't one. I thought there was one in Team Three though, but specifically Salah and Genie Wijnaldum, and then. Um, your Klosterman. I think Klosterman might be the only one, unless I'm totally forgetting about somebody, which I don't think I am. Um, unless there was like an SBC or nope. All right, just Klosterman. Anyways, watch out for those cards specifically because like this Klosterman, if he gets an upgrade, he's going to be cracked. Now it's only plus ones for these cards because the, hi the, the l highest rated card to get a plus two would be an 84. So Salah is obviously a 92. Um, the Wijnaldum card is obviously an 87, so he would only get a plus one. This Klosterman would only get a plus one. But that's why I was looking at cards like Rebic, right? Rebic would get a plus two. If Milan go on to the next round, you'll get big time upgrades there. But for specifically for these cards that are playing today, Klosterman's around 600K. Salah is like 1.8 mil. Wijnaldum is still around 600,000 coins. I would be very tempted to take the cash on these. Don't risk it because they're inflated, they're rare, and uh, they're going to move around and fluctuate during the game today. If Liverpool end up winning, yes, this Wijnaldum might go to like 620, 630K. But also after that, he's probably going to drop lower because people are going to want to sell the card. A lot of people that have been invested in Road to the Finals are going to see today as a time where they can sell. They can sell those cards and take their profits and take their cash, and that's going to push a little bit of the market down. It really is. It's going to press the market down a little bit. So it's going to create opportunities to trade with these cards, even live in game. Let's say Liverpool go up 1-0 uh, in, in their game. So you go ahead and you look at Klosterman because Klosterman is starting to get listed up because people are scared that his price might drop. But then all of a sudden you have a Leipzig goal and then bang, Leipzig are right back in it. Let's say Leipzig score another. Boom, they're up two to one. This card now is going to get bought up and the Liverpool cards are going to drop. That's the crazy fluctuations that you can see with some of these cards. If you're actually watching the game in real time um, and you have like score notifications turned on for like SofaScore or one of those websites that updates you really fast, you can make a lot of coins. It's very risky and you have to know when to sell and, and when to take the risk and buy and how to sell and like what price to sell um, when that card is shooting up. Um, 
It can be very, very profitable though for some quick flips if you can time it correctly, or even if you can like buy a card in the moment right before that team scores. If Klosterman probably is around like 590, 600,000 coins tomorrow at the time of the game, uh, or maybe like 570 even, let's say he drops off a tiny bit, boom, it looks like they're gonna score. They're playing well in the first half. You might even just buy one of those cards and hope that they score. They do score, boom, you sell the card five to 10 minutes later for at that inflated price where the, where the card kind of goes up and then it probably drops off again. So uh, that's one thing I wanna talk about though is the upgrades. I think these cards would get upgraded on Friday because usually what they have been doing and I, I kind of don't remember what they did earlier this year with the first set of upgrades. I think they did it every single week. They didn't wait to do them all at once. I think they did them one week at a time. Uh, so like the first week games happened, those those cards or those teams that played, those Road to the Final cards got upgraded when they uh, were, of course, locked in. But they wait for that week for the Champions League and the Europa League games to be done. So if let's say if Leipzig win tomorrow, this Klosterman is probably not going to get updated until Friday. Thursday night or Friday late, I think, is when they would upgrade these. I doubt they would do it faster than that. Just, that's not the EA way of doing things. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. The upgrades aren't instantaneous, but um, they are within the week. So that is something kind of interesting to watch out for. Of course, watching with the rest of this market, you know, a lot of coins were taken off the market again today with this SBC that was out. I see some of this, like, this Harry Kane card, 1.27. He went from like 1.35 and really has not rebounded today. This Rashford went all the way down to 1.2 mil. Uh, he's still in the 1-2 mid. So he was 1-3 today. He has not rebounded all the way back. So you can definitely tell that this market is getting depleted of coins and especially an SBC like that one that came yesterday with the party bag is taking some coins off the market. Now, more content that could come this week, more flashback SBC stuff like that. You might see more market movements around that stuff, but at least for right now, we're really focused on these road to the final cards, probably some UCL content today, and uh, we'll talk about Thursday flips tomorrow. The market should be decent for Thursday flips, but uh, we're going to keep an eye on the pack code as well for like icon moments, icon swaps type stuff. And uh, yeah, right now is actually a really good time to trade in FIFA. It's really good. These cards are fluctuating a lot. Icons are fluctuating a lot. So if you want to get on, you know, the market and, and mess around, I don't think you have to be super duper scared. The only stuff right now that I would be a bit, I guess, um, mindful of are these road to the finals that they're very inflated i think they have to come down first before they go back up again so many people have invested you have to see those investors start to sell off and realize their profits um or just sell the cars they've been holding and then you might have a better chance at you know trend trading with a road to the final card um, after these games happen this week one or as the first games happen and people view this as a date where they can just sell off some of their road to the final cards. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. Yesterday with the, the party bag was a nuts day. I'm probably not gonna be doing mine unless I can craft it. Let me know if you guys got anything sick down below in or from that pack, but a ton of people did it, right? That was very, very obvious. So hopefully you guys packed good stuff and it was worth it for you if you did it. But road to the final games today, we, built, we will be back live and streaming on Twitch today on Tuesday. So that'll be fun. Uh, probably getting off right before the games happen so we can watch those. And uh, yeah, Champions League is back. It's awesome. It's fun. We're excited. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.